Hey, I'm Steve Tillman, and today you're riding with us on a 2005 Sea Fox 210 walk around. And let me tell you something, she is a nice one. She has the, the uh, stainless steel uh, rail, rail on the front, the bow sprit, uh, anchor holder up front, uh, stainless steel uh, cables uh, with uh, vinyl coated coming down the side. She's got the nice aluminum top and with the canvas on the top. She's sitting on a nice uh, Magic Tail uh, galvanized trailer. And uh, come look at this engine. She's absolutely clean as a pin. Okay, now I'm, you want to talk about clean? Zoom in on this and I want you to look. I want you to look at this engine. I mean corrosion free. Corrosion free. The, the aluminum looks good. The, the exposed bolts look good. Whoever had, this boat, whoever used it has had this boat has put. I hadn't had it scanned. I bet you. I bet you this boat's got less than 50 hours on. I mean, she is clean. Come around this side and look. When you see the non-stainless steel stuff with no rust on it, and you see these head bolts like this. Uh, and they're looking that good. You can see somebody's put new thermostats. See how the see how the paint's going right there. Somebody has put new thermostats probably on both sides. Yeah, both sides. I'm looking at them. I'm not gonna tell they've been replaced. But this engine is C L E A N. Okay. One last thing I want to show you, and I do this all the time, and I probably look at 500 boats a month. Very seldom will I see a boat that is an 05 model. And this engine is an 05. Very seldom. I ever see them that the edges of the decals are not pulling up. This cowling is beautiful. Okay, twin Lenco uh, trim tabs on the back. Nice uh, reboarding ladder. Uh, you get to your uh, oil on this side for your two cycle oil. And uh, transom door. Everybody loves the transom door. Okay, boom. Now let me tell you something. I've been all over it, and she is she is scourge and scar free. This gel coat is is really in good shape. Just come on, take a look. The polish, the aluminum, the aluminum is is in good shape. The stainless steel rub rail inserts are in good shape. You know, even up here on the front, where I see them generally get beat to death, you know from you know from when they're loading them. It, you know, it's even, you know, it's even, it's even, you know, nice up in here. Okay, let's go put this big girl in the water and see what she'll do. Okay, we just dropped in out here and uh, we've got about uh, 10 knots on the nose. And we're going to give you a, show you real quick. Just Hunter, check it out. Can you see these? Now, this is a Piranha Max 15. And I was just curious, can you see, see the fishes painting? See the fishes painting and, and at what depth? 19, 21? really a neat thing to have you know whoever the previous owner was was certainly conscientious enough to keep all of you know their records and everything that's a real plus when you see, when you start trying to size a boat up when you start seeing the books and the records it's a big deal that they're hanging around hey and let me tell you this is you, you really pictures do not do this boat justice she is clean let me show her to you real fast you know sea fox just did a nice job laying out this huge 21 foot boat. Really nice. Okay, uh, she's, got a, she's got a good charging system going. We're sitting here idling at about, you know, we're, well, she'll idle just in the gear at about, uh, at about 800 RPM. Fuel gauge works, all the lights work. Uh, I was just on uh, the radio with the antenna down, by the way. I was just on the radio, and uh, she has a VHF radio, and I was talking to Mayport, which is about 20 miles away, with the antenna down. I thought that was pretty impressive. Nice thing about these walk around, it's a big walk around, big cockpit. Hey, let me tell you something. You would never get on a 21 foot center console boat and have this large. This 21 foot Sea Fox has a cuddy cabin with a room with room for a porter potty, and it's also approved for up to eight passengers. 
Okay, we got to stay 25 in the channel until we get to the big bridge. But so let's see what she takes to take to get her up 25. All right, now hang on. Now here we go. She's gonna pop right out of the hole. Hang on. She jumped right up to 25. We're at about 3,400 RPM, and we're doing 26 miles an hour. That's pretty darn good. One time, let's see what she does. Just take her up a little bit. All right, that's good. All right, trimmed up. You're getting 5,000 RPMs and about indicating about 43 miles an hour. Okay, so you're going to get, at 4,000 RPMs, she's going to give you about 34 miles an hour. Alright, if you like to troll, that's what 1,100 RPMs gives you right there. About 5,000 RPMs, like she was showing you, about 44 miles an hour, trimmed up, a uh, nice ride. Big roomy 21 foot walk around, nice room down in the cabin. Uh, we got a depth finder here that's painting some fish. Uh, live well in the back, cooler in the back, fish box in the back. Big lockers right here, combing, nice aluminum top. Uh, engine, I bet you, I'll have her scan, but I bet you she's got less than 50 hours. Nice boat, and let me tell you something, I'm the cheapest one, not in the, not in the country, not in the state. Now in Jacksonville, I'm the cheapest one in the world, and you are getting ready to steal a nice boat. Come on up to Jacksonville, we'll put you on the water and show you what this girl can do. Call me during normal business hours, Steve Tillman, 1-866-935-0272, and make it a safe day on the water. We'll see you on the river.